Welcome to Q&A practice. We'll get started with some, some two voice practice. And the questioning attorney will be the plaintiff attorney. So just two voice, okay? Ready, here we go. And where was he working at that time? I believe he was working in Long Beach. And you were going to drop your family off at home before you went to take him down to work in Long Beach? That's right. Had you had anything of an alcoholic nature to drink at his house? I don't drink, sir. Well, had you had anything to drink that day of an alcoholic nature? No, sir. Do you remember what day of the week this accident occurred on? It was a Sunday, sir. And what time had you gotten over to his house approximately? Oh, I don't know. It was in the afternoon sometime. And was your wife with you? No, sir. Where was your wife at the time of this accident? She was working at the time. Where was she working? Huntington Hospital in Pasadena. What time was she getting off work? She was getting off early that night. That is why I was to go home. Were you going to go to pick her up? No. She was supposed to go home by herself. Did she have her own car? No, but she had a ride. Do you know what time she was supposed to get home approximately? No, but I was to go home first anyway. I was supposed to meet her. All right. Well, at some time in the afternoon, you had gotten over to this Mr. Carter's house. Is that right? That's right, sir. Did you have all four children with you? Yes, sir. And did he have any children? He has two. And you had just visited with him 
that afternoon. Is that right? Yes, sir. That's right. All right, let's go ahead and do some practice on our transcript. And it looks like we're gonna have a little bit of four voice this time. So we'll start with the defense attorney. Here we go. Do you keep either wood, equipment, material, or anything else pertaining to business at any physical location other than the home address you've given us and the North Wood Street address? No, I have some, I have a shed with some tools in it down there on North Main Street, but nothing major. How long? Have you used the yard at 670 Wood Street? I'd say about 10 years. Would you just briefly describe the nature of your business? What type of tree service work you provide just about anything to do with trees trimming topping removal stump grinding do you have employees that work for you off and on I go through labor ready when I need some help and a couple of my sons help me off and on. I don't have regular employees on my payroll. You do the small jobs by yourself and get extra help when you have a bigger job, right? Is that the same way you've operated the business in the last 10 years or so in the 70s and 80s I had a regular crew that I had did the taxes and workmen's comp on that stuff off and on mostly on during the, I'd say from about 75 until about 1989 or 90. Now, I don't mean to put you on the spot. What 
was the date of your marriage to Lynn. November of 92. She can't help you today. Neither of us can remember. Do you know what date of November? After the third one, you quit keeping track. I hope not to find out. Can you tell me the date in November? November 8th. 8th, yeah, just remembered. I appreciate your help, Mrs. Saul, but since he's the only one under oath, we'll let him stand or fall on his own today. That might be the hardest question I ask you today. What was your wife Lynn's maiden name? Graves. Her maiden name was Graves. Do you know how she spelled that? G R A V E S. How do you spell it? Do you want her to help out on this? I don't know. Yeah, help out on this one. My maiden name was Greens. G R E N E S. All right, that will conclude our Q and A practice. Thank you.